Where do you even start when building your own aircraft? An interesting question of a new builder, with a surprisingly simple answer. Let's take a look. Building your Alto NG at home can be separated into eight main segments. Rudder, elevator, wings, fuselage, canopy, landing gear and brakes, and control system. Let's cover them in a quick summary and walk you through what to expect at each phase of the build. We recommend beginning your build with the rudder. It's one of the simplest and quickest components to complete, but it's also one of the most valuable learning steps. By building the rudder first, you'll get hands-on experience with key techniques like riveting, identifying and preparing parts, and reading the plans. These are the same skills you'll rely on throughout the rest of the build, so it's the perfect way to get comfortable before moving on to more complex sections. By the way, we offer the rudder as a standalone kit that can be ordered via email, giving you the chance to experience the entire building process through a single segment. You'll see just how simple it is to assemble the rudder and, by extension, an entire aircraft, thanks to the fact we use match hole technology, meaning all the parts are manufactured with pre-drilled holes matching perfectly to corresponding piece of the puzzle. These rudder kits were also put to the test by visitors at the Aero Friedrichshafen show, where we showcased just how simple the build process is. Now back to building. You'll be provided with building plans showing parts orientation and its number. Gather all the parts you'll need for the given segment and lay them on a flat surface. When you're ready to start riveting, the step-by-step -step photo guide will guide you through the entire process. Following these instructions, you can expect to complete the rudder segment in about five and a half hours. This number, as well as the build footage, comes from an actual customer with no prior building experience aside from building RC models, so that's what you can realistically expect. You start by assembling the bones of the rudder. This forms the main internal structure that the skin attaches to. You'll see this pattern repeat throughout the build. Frame first, then cover. Here's a quick sneak peek at something we've been working on behind the scenes to enhance the experience. We're building a web-based forum made just for you and the rest of the Alto NG Builder community. It's not some generic help page, but a focused space where you'll be able to ask questions, get real answers, and talk with other builders who are in the middle of the same challenges. There'll be a growing FAQ section, tips from the field, and a clean, simple layout that actually makes sense. But the real highlight is the 3D models, Fully movable, detailed parts you can spin around, take apart virtually, and look inside. You can grab a component on screen, move it, and see exactly how it works. Then compare it directly with what you've got in front of you. When we rivet, we also glue the joint between the two metal sheets using polyurethane sealant. It's a simple step that adds real strength to the structure. One tip we got from a builders in the field Use paper tape on a roll to apply the glue. It lets you lay down a clean and even layer fast and keeps the mess to a minimum. Adding glue to the joint ties the structure together more solidly and helps with sealing too. Less chance of water getting in, which means better durability over time. If you're going to build it, build it to last. That's the mindset we stick to. Altogether, the full airframe uses about 10,000 rivets, by finishing the rudder, you've already knocked out 3% of them in just five and a half hours. Not bad at all. Seeing your aircraft start to take shape is a big moment. The parts you've been working on finally come together into something real. It's an exciting milestone that makes you eager to jump into the next step. In the upcoming videos, we'll show you the unboxing of the rudder kit segment and also its full assembly with a timer. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.